Well, guys, you heard it here first. I am now considered a negative Nancy within this whole space of gotcha. That's right. I am considered a negative boy. I, 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 it's just so negative about all the product that happens within the gotcha space. Or at least to one person that commented on a previous video and multiple people in the past. And you know what? I'm getting sick and tired of just sitting here and just not calling it out like it is. I think that everybody wants everything to be so positive and wants creators to always be positive instead of speaking their mind. And I won't lie, before I used to look at everything with rose tinted glasses, right? I used to think that all of Genshin's updates were fantastic. I used to be like, guys, first and second anniversary are not that bad. They're, fa they're great. We're getting cool free stuff. Isn't that wonderful? And you know what? The more that I think about it and the more that I really like think about if I was being honest with myself 100% of the time, maybe not. Maybe I just really wanted everything to be A-OK -okay and be this positive role model type person where it's like, hey, everything's got a silver lining. But in all honesty, there is nothing wrong with telling the truth. And you know what? Even us positive people can get annoyed by the smallest things. And yeah, maybe it is a small thing with the most recent update uh, live stream for 2.6 Honkai Star Rail, which, yeah, I got a little tilted. Um, I was not exactly the happiest boy. And I think I am more than, you know, entitled to be, you know, angry at something. Like, it, it, I'm entitled to at least say my opinion and be annoyed with something that they did because... Honestly, and I, I'm going to be straight up, that was a bad live stream, right? And yeah, I, I, that's all I'm really going to say about that. My main topic today is talking about toxic positivity. And what do I mean by toxic positivity, right? Well, before we get into that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out the, you know, ever wonderful gamer subs. That's right. Use code Tyser for 10% off. Look at that awesome graphic that just popped up right there right i am i'm toxically positive about this because it's just that dang good so make sure that you're getting yourself some gamer subs use code tyson for 10 percent off but what do i mean when i'm talking about toxic positivity well i'm glad you asked that chat because we're gonna go down a little bit of uh you know smart boy hole right let's go ahead and talk about toxic positivity now, toxic positivity is the act of avoiding, suppressing, and invalidating negative emotions. Others, often in favor of a constant positive outlook. Now, what exactly does this mean? Well, if you're always looking at the positive of something, that is not toxic positivity. What is toxic positivity is getting, you know, crap thrown on your face and then saying, you know what? I you I needed a mud bath today. That's that's kind of toxic positivity, I think. I mean, I guess that would be the best way to do it. Well, no, it's it, I wouldn't say that's an example. I think that's just stupid. <laughs> uh, no, toxic positivity is as follows, right? There's actually a couple little definition or not definitions, but examples here. Dismissing someone's negative emotions by suggesting a positive one instead. Insisting on positive thinking, even in difficult situations. Telling someone to look on the bright side or be grateful for what you have. Uh, minimizing or invalidating someone's genuine sadness or pain. Labeling people who are always positive as stronger or more likable and urging oh there's two more urging people to thrive no matter what adversity they face and brushing off someone's concerns by saying it could be worse now what i am going to say is this i don't think there's anything wrong with you know being like hey look on the bright side there's this or anything like that i think that that's a little bit of a stretch for toxic positivity but it could be toxic some people might think that but in the case that we're going to be talking about today at least for the last video and then i won't lie I'm getting one guide here. I'm absolutely getting one guide. I'm letting something so minuscule bother me. And it's because it's such a stupid comment. And I truly, truly believe it's a stupid comment. Now, what exactly am I talking about? Well, first thing, let's set the scene. Honkai Star Rills 2.6 special live stream happened this, you know, I, well, I'm recording this video the day after it happened um, or two days, well, Day after it happened yeah sorry i got my days mixed up but i'm recording this the day after it happened but this is probably going to go out on wednesday or thursday of this week 
But basically what ended up happening is that the start of the live stream was okay. They usually do a sketch at the beginning, which is fine. No skin off my bones. And then they do a little bit of like the introductions, like saying hi, you know, haha, <laughs> banter between the VAs, which I think is great. I like the VAs being there. And that's, that's just my take. I actually really enjoy the VAs talking and acting in character. What I don't like is what they did next, which was the bird chirping or bird yapping, chirping, whatever you want to call it at this point of the 2.6 special live stream. Now, is it horrible? To some people, no, but to a lot of people, yes, it was. And if you think that there wasn't a lot of people that were actually annoyed by this, you need to check Twitter because there was a lot of people that were annoyed, but I also feel like Twitter is a cesspool for negativity. I'm just saying, but I didn't really add to it or I didn't really uh, add anything against it. I was very toxic as well. Excuse me, dealing with a little bit of a throat issue. Every time I think of those birds chirping, I think about throwing up. Pretty crazy, right? Anyways, but why is this being brought up? Well, there was one comment when I uploaded my reaction video because after that bird chirping, I was annoyed throughout the entire thing. And to be honest, it, does, it, it doesn't take a lot to annoy me in regards to like high pitched, well, not really high pitched noises, but just the fact that you're doing the bird chirping thing and making me read, I might as well have just went to the CN, you know, live stream or the JP live stream because that's annoying as it is. Like, I'm here to interact with my chat. I'm here to also, like, watch what's going on, you know, listen. But I'm not, like, you know, I, I can't be bothered to read, you know. <laughs> but, no, the, the reading thing was annoying. But it was mainly just the chirping noises just kept me, like, kept pushing me, like, out of it, right? I was just like, nah, I don't want to deal with this. Plus, the live stream is a very skippable skippable live stream. There wasn't anything of substance, really, outside of, you know, which banners were coming um and simulated universe but other than that there wasn't really anything that was ratifying in my personal opinion right but enough of me stalling here's the comment that i wanted to talk about and it's a very silly small comment but i want to get into why it annoyed me so much now this user the yazis which makes sense because they're they're an overly positive person they said damn this dude really hates having fun now for me, I like having fun, obviously. Like, that's whatever. But that's a very generic statement to really, like, be all like, oh, yeah, this guy's negative. And that's toxic positivity. Because you don't like something doesn't mean that you don't like having fun, obviously. But that's not what got under my skin. I went ahead and said the bird chirping was annoying. Yeah, that ultimate, or I forgot to say ultimately, that ultimately led me to a bad mood. If you liked it, good for you. But many found it annoying from what it seems. And I wasn't lying. Many did find this actually very annoying. Uh, gotcha Smack was snoozing through it because he just thought oh, this was stupid. You know, or at least that's what I got from it. Gotcha, if you're watching this and that's not what you meant, my bad, bro. But that's what I took from your tweet. And not only that, but a couple other people were like, man, this is annoying. This sucked. This is stupid. You know, it is what it is. Skippable patch. That was me. But it's the comment under that. They probably met others, but let's get, let's read it verbatim, right? From the reaction of others or theirs that I saw, only you found it annoying, but whatever, go be a downer that surely leads to success. Now, <laughs> I, I, I don't mind somebody saying, well, I found a lot of people that didn't like it. That's fine. But to say the only way to be successful is positive in everything that happens. Maybe that's maybe that's correct. I don't know. I don't know if that's correct. I've been honest about my opinions in regards to Honkai Star Rail, ZZZ, uh, HS. Well, I just said Honkai Star Rail. Uh, Genshin Impact, Nikkei, you know, and uh, Wuwa. I've been honest about everything that I think about these games. I think I'm getting successful, or at least I think I am, right? Uh, I'm a Nikkei creator. I, I'm, you know, a Hoyo creator now, you know? Like, I'm in a bunch of different things. I've got my hands in pots. I'm networking and talking with other creators consistently. You know, may, maybe success is measured in money, which is true. Like, I'm not making a lot of money off of YouTube and Twitch right now. 
I really ain't. I'm spending more money. I'm going broke. But outside of that, I think that this leads me to my, you know, my whole point. Like, it is perfectly fine if you like something, right? But to go to somebody else's comment section and say that other people liked it and you're not going to be successful if you're not positive, that really just shows how stupid you actually are right and this isn't the first time i've dealt with this i've seen it multiple times in my things when i talk about genshin when i talk about you know the drama that happens when i talked about you know the whole uh people sexualizing yuhu for wuwa like people just don't understand that youtube is a space to be honest about who you are as a person at least in the sense of being a creator and talking about things that happen i'm gonna be honest about my opinions in regards to Hawkeye Star Rail, Genshin Impact, Nikkei, Wuwa, ZZZ, every single time. I'm not going to sit here and cater to the people who want me to be just an po overly positive dude. And yes, I'm a freaking weeb. I'm always going to be positive about boobs, right? There's boobs every, like, there's Firefly, right? I, I, I'm sponsored by gamer subs who put boobs on cups. Like, look at this thing, right? Like, I love that stuff, but if you're going to say that you like a game, you got to be able to be, you know, critical about stuff and be honest about what you think about that game. A good, and you know what, I'll, I'll welcome the Tectone haters in the, on this one. Tectone is a prime example of somebody who is honest about his opinions. A prime example. And you know what? If you're going to sit here and tell me that, like, being successful is always being positive, then you should really take a look at what Tectone does, because he's honestly the most successful gotcha player in the space, right? So, to me, your comments right here, the Yezas, you're very stupid. Very stupid. Because saying that somebody's success banks on them being positive just comes from a very short-sighted, like, mindset. You're really showing me how glib you are. And he's not the only, or he or she, I don't know. I don't want to assume gender because then that's a whole nother topic. But they do not understand that people like genuine creators, right? I'm not the smartest guy. That's why I stopped doing build guides. I'm not smart. I'm not good at build guides. I'm good with telling people like, is this good for your money? Is this the bang for your buck? Should you do these summits? I'm, I feel like I'm decently well when talking about topics in general, though I do tend to, you know, veer from places. I am good at looking very stupid during summons and spending too much money. But then again, my job outside of YouTube and Twitch allows me to do that. So my overall point is this. If you are a creator like me, on the smaller scale or hell even a larger scale creator you know give me your thoughts should you be overwhelmingly positive in every single video that you do or do you think genuine like genuine personality and genuine thoughts take over that you know toxic positivity and if you are one of those people that is talk like telling these creators including myself to be overly positive to succeed you're dumb. I'm just going to point blank say it. Because in all actuality, we're doers. You are the watchers. Know your place. I'm just saying. Maybe that's a wild, wild take right there. <laughs> I don't know. But overall, I am very thankful for the success that I do have, right? Whether it be slow or whether it be, you know, like this huge push of success, right? Like I've gotten a lot of success at least between this year and two years ago. I've been a content creator for nine years and really just started taking it seriously these last two years. And I think overall, like while I'm slower than most content creators, I do think that the success that I've garnered is a genuine success. It's not, you know, inflated people being like, you know, hey, he's always positive about something. I'd rather be me now than me be saying, you know, the Genshin Impact live stream was the best live stream in the world. I'm just saying. Anyways, I'm rambling. I'm going, you know, all sorts of places. Overall, creators out there, let me know. Would you rather be a genuine creator or a toxic positivity creator? And to all you watchers out there, 
Do you think that success is based on positivity or do you think that success is based off of a genuine connection? Would love to hear y'all opinions on this. But anyways, if this gets me a lot of flack, I really don't care at this point. Mask off moment, call it whatever you want, man. <laughs> like, I'm just saying toxic positivity is bad. And yes, I did get one guide in this situation, but if people are gonna say stupid, shit like this on my youtube comments i will happily be one guide if it gets me to be able to talk a little bit so anyways y'all that's gonna be it like comment subscribe check out gamer subs use code tasha for 10 percent off and as always we'll catch you with that next video please take care and be safe